Have you ever wondered how to start with Python programming? Welcome to the world of Python, a language celebrated for its versatility and beginner-friendly nature. Python finds its applications in a myriad of fields like web development, data analysis, and even artificial intelligence. Its simplicity does not compromise its power, making it a favorite among both beginners and experts. So buckle up, because by the end of this video, you will understand the basics of Python and be ready to write your first Python program. Before diving into Python coding, you need to install it on your computer. Let's walk through this together. Start by heading to the Python official website. Navigate to the Downloads section and click on the version that matches your operating system. Whether you're on Windows, Mac or Linux, Python has got you covered. Once the download is complete, run the installer. You'll be greeted with a setup wizard. It's pretty straightforward, but there's one thing you need to pay close attention to. During this process, you'll come across a checkbox that says, Add Python to Path. Make sure to check this box. It's crucial because it allows your computer to understand Python commands from anywhere, not just in specific directories. Follow the rest of the steps and voila, you've successfully installed Python on your computer. It's like having a new superpower, isn't it? Now that Python is installed, you are ready to write your first Python program. Writing your first Python program is simpler than you might think. Let's create a simple program together, the traditional Hello World program. It's often the first program written by people learning a new programming language. To write this program, open your Python IDE or text editor and type the following. Print Hello World. Make sure to include the parentheses and the quotation marks. This line of code instructs Python to output the phrase Hello World when the program runs. Now save your file with a PPY extension, signifying it's a Python file. Then run your program. If everything is set up correctly, you should see Hello World displayed in your console. That's it. You've written your first Python program. Now let's talk about indentation. Python uses indentation to define the scope of loops, functions, classes, and control flow statements. Unlike other languages that use braces or keywords to define blocks of code, Python relies on indentation. This might seem strange at first, but it encourages clean, readable code. For instance, if you're writing a for loop, the code inside the loop must be indented. Not adhering to this rule will cause a syntax error and your program won't run. So, remember in Python, indentation isn't just about aesthetics. It's a fundamental part of the language's syntax. Congratulations, you have just written your first Python program. Now let's understand Python variables and data types. Think of a variable as a container that holds data. You can assign different types of information to a variable, be it a number, a text, or even a logical value. In Python, we have various data types. The most common ones include integers, floating point numbers, strings, and boolean. Integers are whole numbers like 5, 0, or negative 3. Floating point numbers are numbers with a decimal point like 2.5 or 3.14. Strings are sequences of characters enclosed in either single or double quotes. And Boolean? Well, it's as simple as true or false. One of the beauties of Python is that it's dynamically typed. This means you don't have to declare the data type of a variable when you create it. Python figures it out for you. You can even use the type function to check the data type of a variable. Understanding variables and data types is fundamental to Python programming. You've made great progress in your Python programming journey. We kick things off by introducing you to Python, a powerful and versatile language. Next, we dove into the process of installing Python on your system, a crucial step that paves the way for all your future programming endeavors. We then moved on to writing your very first Python program. Remember, it's all about taking that first step and you've done just that. Following this, we delved into Python variables and data types, giving you a deeper understanding of how Python handles data. Now, it's time for you to take the reins. The best way to cement what you've learned is by practicing. Write more Python programs, experiment, make mistakes, learn from them. 
That's how you grow as a programmer. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be able to build amazing things with Python. Happy coding!